We are here on a, on a small demo interface that we prototyped to visualize uh, how the API is working. Uh, so we will start from scratch. In fact, when, when you subscribe to Verde, you define the packages that you need for your precision agriculture service. You can see these packages summarized here with the satellites, the cloud cover, and the different analytics you selected. Let's now add a new field. So I'm zooming in here, and I will draw my field boundaries. It's a big field with a bizarre shape, so it takes time. So I put a name to it. And I will select the crop, which is soybean here. And there, for your soybean, probably the cycle should go from the 1st of May Uh, 1st of May to the end of October. Here we go. Sorry. So just repeat that. And here we can see that, in fact, the system has found 79 acquisition over that field. So we will give a few minutes to the system to process all of them. And meanwhile, we are, will move to an existing field to get a closer look to the different uh, analytics we get in Verde. So I'm selecting here a, a parcel, and I can see the entire growth cycle with the F cover. I can switch to leaf area index. And there I will, in fact, have a better rendering of each growth stage. Here uh, is the start of the vegetation, as you can see. Here is when the crop creates its vegetation biomass. Beginning of July, the field is reaching the maximum vegetation that is announcing the flowering stage. Then you have two months of full vegetation. And in fact, there we can see that the farmer did a quite a good job as there is very low variability inside the field. And end of August is the start of senescence when the farmer can stop irrigation and start planning the harvest. Again, what is still remarkable here is how consistent the curve is, despite the maps are coming from different satellites. And in case you want to lead a visual inspection, to better understand a map, for instance, you can always come back to the original satellite image. Now let's compare this field with three other ones, one of corn and two soybeans. Here are the soybean. And here it's interesting to compare the field featuring the same crop. One field developed faster than the other one, but eventually it catches up. Now, we, it, if we compare them with the soybean fields, we see clearly the difference of pattern between the two species. And the same principle can perfectly apply to compare the same field over two seasons or more. So now let's come back to our giant field to see the result of the processing. As you can see already, a lot of images have been produced and the system dynamically carries on producing all the images to match that.